So I'm going to read, I think, do we have about three, four minutes? Three minutes. Time? Perfect. I'm going to really quickly <laughs> read a blog post. If you have read it, wonderful. If you have not, here we go. How about coming back? In the last few weeks, everyone has been asking me, what do you miss most about Italy? And honestly, I don't know how to respond. I miss the light on the canal. I miss the precious minutes of alone time with my headphones and my music in the train, bus, and tram. But I can't say these things. People want an easy response, a complete one. But I don't have an easy response. Because honestly, I miss the experience. I miss Italy. More than anything, I miss my Italian life, my Italian world. But when I absolutely must respond to this question, I say that I miss the food and everyone laughs. Or I say that I miss the beauty and everyone starts to tell stories which always start with, ah, oh, yes, one time I went to Italy and it was absolutely gorgeous. But if I really have to choose one thing that I miss the most, I have to say that I miss the people. I miss my classmates who, despite the fact that they didn't talk to me at all during the first few months of school, became a reason for which I was truly happy to come to school every day, who helped me with everything, who made me smile and laugh every day. I miss my other friends who weren't classmates, who chose to spend time with me outside of school, who had the courage to talk to me in English even though they risk a brutta figura, an Italian ideal of social embarrassment, who brought me to new places, new shops, new restaurants. I miss my host families who were always there for me, who were patient with me every day, even when I knew only a few words of their language, and talked with me every day, even when my responses were composed of two or three words. And this is a very, very difficult task. I also miss terribly the other exchange students who were a family for a year, in which I didn't have my Californian family. They helped me with the difficult things. They talked to me in the days in which I returned home and realized I'd only spoken 14 words that day. The days in which I was trapped in a world which, because of my lack of knowledge of the Italian language, was silent and isolating and impossible to escape from. Now, maybe this list seems a little bit tragic with all these sad things, but this is life. With the beautiful things, there are also hard things. These people helped me with the hard things, but also with the beautiful things. And these are the people who have changed my life. Often when someone asks me, what do you miss the most? I don't say the people, because just as I can't say the minutes in the train or the light on the canal, I can't say the people. It isn't concrete enough. And when I say that I miss the people, everyone laughs a bit and then says, but surely you're happy to see your family. Or, but you also have people in California. And if I try to explain maybe that I really miss my classmates so that I miss the other exchange students. They're a bit confused and they tell me that I have classmates in California too or that there are new exchange students in California now. But I don't miss these people just because they're people. I miss these people because they're friends. They are family. These are people who have changed my life. It's not that I don't appreciate the people in California. It's just that I can't forget these people who have done so much for me and I don't believe I will ever be able to forget them. All of these people have a place in my heart and because of this, I now have a heart much bigger than one year ago. And this is a beautiful thing. It's just that I didn't have any idea how difficult it would be to divide one heart between two worlds. Mm -hmm.